The Centre for Research and Evidence-Based Practice is the jewel in the crown for Bond's research. This centre is of truly international standing. It's recognised around the world as making significant contributions to research that answers the hard questions about the most effective way of making decisions in healthcare. I've been involved in uh, research on acute respiratory infections and in particular um, the extent to which antibiotics help cure them. Um, and we're, we're looking at, at the specific issue of antibiotic resistance. Now we're very anxious worldwide about antibiotic resistance. We think that um, this is likely to blow into a very serious problem worldwide, not just for Australia but everywhere. Um, and our hypothesis is based on the fact that we think that antibiotic resistance to a large extent is generated out in primary care by GPs who prescribe antibiotics a lot. Um, and we're very keen to see if we can reverse this trend because we think that's generating a lot of antibiotic resistance and that's going to lead to all sorts of downstream problems in Australia. So one of the um, areas we've been doing a lot of research in over the last few years is something called shared decision making, which is gaining worldwide attention. And shared decision making is a move away from the old style of um, the doctor or a clinician telling the patient, this is what treatment I recommend, off you go. Um, but it's actually working with the patient collaboratively, going through what are the options, what are the benefits and the harms of each option, and then working with the patient to look at what's going to be the best for that patient, their, what's their values, what's their preferences, what works best for them. And so we've been doing some work on training students, medical students in shared decision making, uh, training clinicians, helping to promote awareness of this concept of shared decision making. Um, and as I said, we're working with a group of international collaborators and it's gaining um, worldwide momentum, and as it should, because it's, it's the right way to practice healthcare. The premier journals that we would have published in is a lot of the work has been published in the British Medical Journal known as the BMJ but the um, area of waste in research which we documented a couple of years ago um, this year there was a, a whole series of six articles that was published in um, the Lancet which is one of the major um, general medical journals in the world um, so we led that series um, of articles that documented the 85% waste in research over a hundred billion dollars a year.